Hello, good evening, and welcome to our third monthly online event, Hormonal Health and You. I'm Judy Goss, the founder of Over 40 Females. This event tonight will be just like the one thousands of women are attending across the country every month to enhance themselves spiritually, mentally, and physically. With a motivational guest speaker, and we have unique raffle prizes, which you have to stay on the call all the way to win, though. We have personal member introductions from our over 40 females members nationwide who have reserved a spot to highlight themselves and the support of women on this call right now. Okay. Over 40 females, what is it? Over 40 females is a live and online networking community specifically tailored for women over the age of 40 that speaks to women in transition. Hmm. Who's a woman in transition out there? All of us. <laughs> We're all in transition. You know, whether you're feeling lost going through a recent divorce, experiencing health, confusing health issues, going through financial upheaval, whether that's, you know, f suffering financially or you got an inheritance, you don't know how to manage the empty nest syndrome and, you know, the loneliness you may be experiencing from that, we are all in this together, which is what I love about women over 40 and especially over 40 females. We currently have 17 chapters nationwide. We're opening in Fort Worth, Texas next week on the 22nd. The mayor of Fort Worth is the guest speaker, and we have news anchor Jay McGarity emceeing the events. So exciting. We are growing more and more every day, and each chapter has exciting powerhouse events monthly. And we are now proud to say that we are bringing you this thrilling experience now online. It's just incredible. Oh, and look. We have a latest press from last month, and this press was on ABC Eyewitness News for over 40 females. And we mem managed to book a member from New York City on the segment to come on set with me. Now, what other networking company brings their members on TV? We've had them in magazines, blogs, newspapers, all over the place. So we're very proud to say that we get a ton of press for not just us, but our members also. We also had a, a woman, Julia Klein, she's on our speakers board from Chicago. She got her own segment on TV. It's just amazing what we can get. And, and, you know, the power of all of us working together, women over 40. So if you want to be one of these women who are an official member of our Over 40 Females community, I am going to have a special offer for you on this call uh, towards the end. It includes a free 30-minute How to Be on TV crash course with me, Judy Goss, and I have not only appeared on countless TV segments, both national and regional, across the country, but I have also booked them myself and been pitched also as a magazine editor, so I know what works from every angle. Okay, to top it all off, I'm going to be launching a radio show called What Women Want, and featuring, guess who? Featuring you guys, members of Over 40 Females. It's another reason to be a member of our community. There will be guest hosting opportunities, interview spots, and opportunities to call in and plug you or your business nationwide. We are launching this show Sunday evening, April 27th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's April 27th, Sunday evening, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the hottest radio station in L.A., L.A. Talk Radio. So it's latalkradio.com. For more information, please visit our Facebook page, which is right on the bottom of the screen there, What Women Want Radio. All right, speaking of, like I said, we're constantly getting our members noticed and in the press. This time it was a member from New York City on ABC Eyewitness News. Last time it was a member from Chicago on NBC. And we even had a member on uh, News 12 Connecticut. We've had... Um, we had a business member on, what was it, Better TV? Just unbelievable, nationwide. So, um, and how do we get all these opportunities? Well, you know what? My background comes from having been an editor at Moore and Cosmopolitan Magazines. And I was also Moore's national TV spokesperson for almost two years. So I've been on countless TV segments across the country for both Moore Magazine and as a lifestyle expert. From the CBS Early Show to Good Morning America, I have been on them all. And I'm also a published author with St. Martin's Press, a TV host, and a, was a high fashion model a long, long, long time ago, a couple of decades ago. Okay, on screen right now are all the current locations of our chapters and future ones that are opening. We're opening three to four a month. So if you want to attend events in person also, please go to our website, over40females.com. That's over, 
O V E R, the number four zero, females, F E M A L E S dot com. Click under locations and you'll see this screen that's up in front of you right now and find a location near you. Or you may consider opening one yourself. We're looking for chapter directors constantly across the country. Our current members are loving it, including a member from our Long Island chapter, a financial advisor named Ronit, who said, I thought I'd share a call I received yesterday from a woman who attended an over 40 females meeting in Connecticut. Now, this woman, the financial advisor is from Long Island, so she said after the meeting, she was looking around the website and found her business contact info, called her, and she was able to point her in the right direction to begin her own personal financial checkup. So the financial advisor from Long Island got business from a woman in Connecticut just because she was a member on our site. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know these types of things are happening all the time, all across the country with hundreds and hundreds of women, and I wanted you to know this is where the magic happens here at Over 40 Females. Okay, let's get on with our program for the evening. After our guest speaker is through, we are going to highlight select members from our website, then announce the raffles, uh, just like we do at events in person. Okay, we have everything but the wine. <laughs> Uh, so someday maybe we'll figure that one out also, where we can get you wine and you can listen online. Our first raffle is uh, Peter Thomas Roth. It's a beauty duo worth $80. We love their products, and stay on till the end of the call and see if you have won this raffle just by being on this call. The second raffle that we have this evening is a copy of the book Quiet Hero by Emmy Award-winning TV host and best-selling author Rita Cosby, and she was also the keynote speaker at our Inspiration Summit back in December, so very proud to have her as part of the evening this morning, uh, tonight. Okay, so Dr. Marquez, Dr. Linda Marquez, I am going to introduce our special guest speaker for this evening. I see we're waiting for the slide to come on with Dr. Linda Marquez. And I'm going to talk about Dr. Marquez for a minute because she is just phenomenal. And she is from our Orange County chapter. She's on our speakers board. She is a chiropractic wellness doctor who has been practicing since 1993. She received her undergraduate training at California State University Fullerton and attended Los Angeles College of Chiropractic. She has been licensed and practiced in several states, including California, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, and Tennessee. Wow. You get around, Dr. Marquez. That's incredible. Uh, she has extensive postgraduate training in nutrition, functional blood chemistry, functional endocrinology, brain chemistry, and managing obesity. She is a speaker, author, wellness educator, certified, nutri certified nutritionist, excuse me, and a fitness trainer. Dr. Marquez, are you on the call? Dr. Marquez, are you there? Hi, can you hear me? Hi. Yes, Hi. how are you? Great, great. Thank you so much for the introduction. Oh, we are so excited to learn all about the hormones. Oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. I, I have no <laughs> idea how it's affecting me, and just really by going over, you know, what you do, I know there is so much to learn. So I am going to hand it over to you, and um, I'm very excited to hear what you have to say. Okay. Well, thank you, and welcome, everyone. And, yes, it's about hormonal health in you. This is kind of a, a touchy subject for some people, but I'm like, hey, this affects women. It affects men but it affects everyone around us, especially like, you know, we women, we're the CEOs of our home. And like the saying goes, if mama's not happy, no one else is happy, right? So we got to, we have to be happy. And all of that is actually controlled by hormones. And so I'm sure some people feel like this, like this lady on the slide here to you to the left, just pulling her hair out and going crazy with all the projects that she has to do and, you know, trying to run your business, trying to, take care of your spouse, the kids, and just, of course, just being a mom, being a female, being, I would say, a daughter, a sister, uh, a, a daughter-in-law, a sister-in-law, all those things, and even some some of us grandmas, not me yet, so <laughs> I'm kind of hoping for a, a while there, but, I mean, this is how a lot of us feel. It's just like, gosh, I'm I'm just so distressed. I don't want to be that person anymore. I'd rather go back to maybe how I was 10 years ago. So that's what we're going to talk a little bit about tonight. It's like, you know, we have to do something different that we've never done in order to see some change. This is something I constantly hear in my practice with our practice members. It's just like, 
I've been just so irritable, so moody. This weight just doesn't come off. Ten years ago, it would just just shed off so quickly. I would just change my eating habits for you know for a few weeks. Within a month, those ten pounds would be off. Now that doesn't work anymore. And it's like, well, it's because your body's chemistry has changed. And when you think about it, I mean, women are so amazing. You look at our bodies, and we can actually, our bodies are so amazing that we sustain life for nine months for another one to survive and bring into this world. If that's not miraculous, I don't know what is. So I always tell people, hey, look at the body. It is fearfully and wonderfully made. It's beautiful in every way, and if you treat it well, it's going to do its job. But unfortunately, sometimes we, we don't take care of it like we used to. So what are some of the things that we go back and we do? Well, we go back to counting calories. Well, that doesn't work anymore. I always tell people that is old school. I've been doing these seminars and teaching and <clears throat> seeing a lot of females in my practice that are, are doing some of the same things, and they're just not working anymore. And I would say calories have very little to do and how successful you are in a fat loss program. And I share with people, I don't count calories. I don't have our members count calories. I personally consume probably about, in any given day, between 45 and 60 grams of fat. And people just look at me and like, are you crazy? What? And I'm like, yeah, but fat doesn't make you fat. You know, it's balanced, uh, it's imbalanced hormones that cause you to hold on to fat. So counting calories doesn't work anymore. It's just really how are your hormones working? Are they in balance? They affect so many symptoms in our body. And really, if we are not, uh, if we're holding on to extra weight, if we're not sleeping well, if we're irritable, if we're moody, that's because your body's unhealthy. That's because you're unhealthy. And so... The symptoms, those are just all symptoms. And when we carry a little bit of extra weight, that's just a sign and a symptom that your body's telling you, hey, something's not working properly in your in your body. So that's the beauty about what you're going to learn within the next 25 minutes is, well, how can I stack the odds in my favor? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do that. So you want to make sure you want to stay throughout the entire um, presentation and to the end and even win some of the fabulous prizes. So there is not one diet that fits all. It does not work. And I always tell people, hey, you're unique, your body's chemistry is unique, and you have to figure out what's bad, you know, what's going to work for you. So I always like to throw in these little, these little slides in here. Hey, it's just a bad day, not a bad life. Some of us get so caught up in that. And, and I bring this to your attention because when we stress out about things, that's an opportunity for cortisol, and for cortisol, which is a hormone in your body, to get produced, and that's what contributes to belly fat. So, biggest challenge I think we're having nowadays is we're overfed and undernourished. That is a big thing that I definitely see in the younger population, but even in you know men and women, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. It's just the convenience of fast food. So. Um, we're running into that problem a lot, but you're going to learn ways that, you know, how can we do that? How can I eat nutrient-dense food? So hormones, what exactly are they? Well, they're, they're, it's your body's language of communication. It's, it's pretty easy because if your hormones aren't communicating, there's going to be a disconnect, there's going to be dysfunction, and things like hot flashes occur, from moodiness occur, from weight gain, falling asleep in the middle of the day, having trouble falling asleep at night. There's so many symptoms. And basically it's just they're messengers in your body that transport from one cell to another. There's over 300 hormones in the body. And the hormones, the, the way they work, whether they're going to function at their optimal capacity or not, it depends on what food you're putting in your body. And unfortunately the food that we're eating now has been contaminated with herbicides, fungicides, pesticides, and all these sides, as I call them, um, they just start create your your instead of having a symphony for music in your garage, you have like this starter garage rock band in there. So it just creates a lot of disharmony. So it's the health of your hormones that really will determine the health and fitness status of an individual. So how do they affect me? Well, as I mentioned earlier. Um, Hormones control whether you're in pain, sleep, if you're getting cramps in your legs, if you're getting hot flashes, you're getting um, 
memory issues, allergies, headaches, mood, mood swings, and weight gain, those are all symptoms that you've got hormonal imbalance. It's probably shocking for some of you, right? But they're, those, that's just science right there. Some of the things that I mentioned, you know, what do they do? They let you fall asleep at night um, easily. They affect your ability to stay asleep all night. They can make you feel like waking up in the middle of the night. I don't know if any of you have that problem, but whenever I'm in a seminar, I ask, I, I ask that question, and I want to see how many hands go up. This is probably the one symptom that I'd say at least 50 to 60% of the room will be raising their hand. They're like, yep, I wake up, and I think it's because I drank too much water. And I'm like, nope, it's because you're – your adrenals are on overdrive and your cortisol is working at nighttime and that's why you're waking up in the middle of the night to urinate. It's not because you have a full bladder. So um, those are some of the things that your hormones do. They will you, you start craving sugar after lunch or dinner. A lot of people raise their hand when that goes up when I mention this. They're tired in the middle of the day. And hormones store fat. They keep you looking young, which is a plus. They, but they also help reduce inflammation, buffer stress. But most of all, the number one reasons why I want to know how my hormones are working is because they help you burn fat. Well, I could also say this one too. They keep you looking young. So if, you able, if you're able to stimulate the right hormones at the right time, you can do all this naturally without medication. So be your own be your own motivation. Run when you don't want to, eat a bowl of fruit when you want a bag of chips, and love your body when you lick in the mirror. You're the only one holding you back, and isn't that true? So it's just about, as I mentioned in the beginning, we have to go out and do something different in order to get different results. So kind of just in a nutshell, I always tell people, hey, there are three hormones really that contribute to why your body gains weight, why you're getting sick, why you're aging quickly, why the gray hair is coming out. And it's, if you remember the acronym ICE, I-C-E, insulin, cortisol, and estrogen, there's only three that will contribute to all those problems that we just read about. But there's more hormones here that burn fat, you know, tons more, adrenaline, glucagon, leptin, testosterone, GH hormone, which is growth hormone, thyroid hormone, and insulin-like growth factor. But I'm going to focus more on these, the troublemakers, or some call them the Charlie's Angels or the... Um, the tantalizing trifecta, as I like to call them. Now, all of us are going to fall under these body types. This picture gets so much attention. Wherever I speak, people just start laughing, and they're like, oh, I think that's me, or I think that's Uncle Bob, or they'll laugh, but I say all of us fall under one of these hormonal body types, and they will change, and you can go from possibly a liver to an adrenal to an ovarian to a thyroid. So we're going to learn a little bit about each one and then figure out where am I, who am I. And you take care of your body differently depending on which body type you are. So the thyroid body type, this is a person, I said, imagine Oprah. This is the person, and since we're all females, maybe there's some men on the line too, but this is the person that they just kind of gain weight all over. Their arms are chubby, their their waist is thick, their legs are thick. You know, they're just kind of big like a tree a tree trunk. They um, they're tired. They get headaches. You know, in the morning, but they usually are gone by the afternoon. They have a lot of cholesterol problems. They have irregular menstrual cycles. I would say if this was a a Disney character, it would be Eeyore. They're depressed all the time. They're apathetic. It's just like nothing in life is great. Everything is horrible. They get brain fog. They feel checked out. They're, they have difficulty focusing. This is the person that has ADD. So you might be able to relate with me. If this ever happened to you, just think, oh, it's a hormonal issue. You run into the kitchen and you stand there for a minute and you're looking around thinking, why did I come to the kitchen? What did I come in here for? You're having a thyroid, you're having a thyroid moment. That's actually a hormonal issue. So other symptoms that are really easily seen, if you're taking a shower and you're just losing clumps of hair, that's a hormonal issue, and that's probably more of a thyroid issue. Or if you're losing the outer one-third of your eyebrows, that's another sign that you have a thyroid issue. If you want to go look in the, in the mirror now or pop out your little handheld mirror that you have in your purse, um, if you stick out your tongue and you, you see ridges around your tongue, that's a, a thyroid issue. If you look at your nails, 
and you see little ridges in your nails, well, that's also a thyroid issue, and so is falling asleep in the middle of the day. And, of course, having that, that sagginess, you know, where the triceps are, you're waving and your arm keeps waving back. And then that's also a thyroid issue because thyroid has a trouble. I mean, a person that has this condition, they can't metabolize um, protein properly. This person is always cold. I mean, they have to wear socks to bed. I'm talking about summertime also. It's a nightmare to wake them up, and they never feel like they get enough sleep. So I know I'm talking to someone out there, and they're just tired all day long. And I always say the beauty of all this is sometimes a thyroid person will marry an adrenal person who's totally the opposite. So you're going to remember some of these um, some of these symptoms. So that was a thyroid person. So kind of remember that individual and see, well, is that me or not? So life's challenges are not supposed to paralyze you. They're supposed to help you discover who you are. Isn't that beautiful? So let's talk about the ovarian body type. Well, I say if you want to see who the ovarian body type, the thyroid body type was more like Oprah, the ovarian body type, and say, hey, well, who's that? Well, think about Jennifer Lopez. Think about Kim Kardashian. They have their, they carry their weight um, on their hips. They're more of the estrogen body type. They gain their weight in the hips, thighs, and buttocks. So that's the old, more of the ovarian body type. They get menstrual cramps, history of PMS, excessive menstrual bleeding. They have acne on one side of the face that fluctuates one month to another, left, right, left, right. And what that co- um, corresponds with is when a woman is cycling on from the left side of the ovary, then a lot of the acne will show up on the left. And if they're cycling on the right side, it'll show up on the right side. And they get chocolate cravings and they feel bloated and they get hot flashes, mood swings, ovarian cysts, they have pain in the knees, vaginal dryness, and I say, and other than that, they're all okay. So I don't know how many of you are thinking, wow, that's me, I'm the ovarian body type. And it's like, well, all of us can be the ovarian body type to a degree, and some of the reasons that, um, and this can only be a woman, it can't be a man, so men, any men on the line, um, sorry, that can't be you, so it's it's going to be one of the other three that you possibly fall into. But the reason that, that it's uh, we're having a lot of um, estrogen or ovarian body type, it's because of something called um, xenoestrogens. And basically these are all um, xenoestrogens, DES, diethylstrobol, which they're putting in poultry, and this causes um, weight gain, DDT. It's being sprayed out there. I was born and raised here in Southern California, and I remember when we would have warnings that don't go out between 1 in the morning and 4 o'clock in the morning because we're going to be spraying because, you know, I lived in Orange County, and back then we had orange groves everywhere, and don't go out. It's deadly. You just by, in, you know, inhaling it. It's like, then what the heck are they doing sprayed it on our foods? Well, that's a xenoestrogen as well. HRT, which is hormone replacement theory, by phenol A. This is all your plastic bottles and containers, and the sad thing is it's even the baby bottles, and it's even all these plastics that we're storing our food in and our clothes and, and a lot of our own personal items. Those are all xenoestrogen that's affecting your body's, your body's hormonal imbalance or balance and of course soy people think soy is like the healthiest thing for you i'm like no that's a xenoestrogen and contrary to the belief that well a lot of the asians they eat a lot of soy products it's like no they eat a lot of fish and vegetables and they probably only have two tablespoons of soy a day and it's usually something like fermented miso so that that theory kind of goes out the window and then there's our BST, and that's basically a lot of bovine. Um, it's it's just it's called recumbent bovine somatotropin, or basically it's an artificial growth hormone. So we're being in you know and we're actually eating all these, and it's anything that comes in contact with our skin, um, we are absorbing it. So now we're getting excess estrogen as well. Women, any of the creams that you're using, all those expensive creams that you're getting at the store, there is no testing out there as far as the, the, um, how clean they are and, you know, if they're chemical-free. So if you're putting all this stuff on your face and on your skin, you're probably getting more estrogen than you think. 
I, my rule of thumb is if you can't eat it, don't put it on your face. So what do I do? I use coconut oil for everything. That's one of my little superfoods. So what you can do today says what you do today can improve all your tomorrows. So one of my favorite, I see this a lot, and you are all going to be able to recognize the adrenal body type. Just look around you. Look at the high school kids. These are the people that have that loose belly fat, and this is a person that sits down and they get those muffin tops, you know. It's kind of like whoop, the, the fat just kind of rolls over their pants and just kind of hangy. The sad thing about this is we're seeing this in a lot of kids. I hardly saw this problem growing up. And as I have a nine-year-old daughter. I, when I take her to school, it just saddens me. And she's able, she's only nine, she's able to pull um, – to point and say, Mom, I think that's an adrenal body type, a liver body type, and it's just like she can just pull all that out just from listening to, to me so much and sitting in on some of my presentations. But, um, yeah, the adrenal body type. So the adrenal body type, well, this person, gosh, who are they? They're the stressor. Adrenals are these tiny little glands that sit on top of your kidneys, and they will buffer stress. Stress can come in many forms. I always say physical, chemical, emotional, you know, grudges. It could be at work, having work, not having work, you know, people, having too many people around, not having too many people around, your weight, whether you're overweight, underweight. There's so many stressful issues in our life. Not getting enough sleep, our digestion is off, you know, the time changes, the weather, it's a holiday, there's a party, there's always something. Those are all stress, and we can't get away from stress but we can definitely learn how to handle it. So what does, you know, how is cortisol affecting your body? I just spent three days at a, at a seminar just on the brain, and cortisol kept coming up, and it scared me, and I know a lot of information, and I was like, oh, my goodness. If people really knew what cortisol is doing to their body and especially what it's, how it's destroying their brain, Stressing now, there is nothing positive about stress, absolutely nothing, unless it's a short-term situation where you're about to go save someone's life. But as far as about anything else, it's, there's really no benefit. Why? Because cortisol will impair your memory and your thinking. What it does is it will destroy different cells and receptor sites in your brain that are responsible for memory and for long-term memory and short-term memory, more for the conversion of short-term memory to long-term memory. It affects a, point, a part in your brain that's associated with your fear and anxiety um, center. So it disrupts circadian rhythm. That's why you're waking up in the middle of the night to urinate or you wake up in the middle of the night, and all of a sudden you have all this energy. And it shrinks your brain. I don't know about you, but I want to hold on to as many brain cells as I can. So cortisol has no positive benefit for me. Also, it destroys the lining of your gut. And when it does that, I tell people you start getting something called leaky gut. When you have leaky gut, that's when multiple food allergies kick in and you feel sick all the time and you get that bloated feeling. So it also destroys the lining of your brain and your lungs. So that's why people have you know, um, breathing issues and memory issues. But most of all, it causes you to gain weight. So, well, who is the who is the adrenal person? I said, just look around. I said, this is the person probably at Starbucks. You know that you bump into them and they look at you like, what did you just do? Because they have not had their coffee, so you don't want to talk to them unless they've had a cough. Their coffee. They have sleep problems. They have to hit their snooze five or six times before they wake up. I know I'm talking to someone out there. <laughs> So um, they're irritable. They just cannot tolerate stress. This person is always stressed out. So all of us can relate. It's probably a friend, a neighbor, a coworker, or even a spouse, right? And Adrena Yes, was, I've met a few people like that, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we all run into those types of people. Um, they get the ringing in the ears, the allergies, and they get their um, inter uninterrupted or interrupted sleep. So at nighttime, and this is totally worth everything that you're going to hear today. Most people don't know this, and everyone takes out their pa their paper and, and their pencil and, and their pen or whatever. They're taking notes with their, their iPhone. And I tell them, between 10 o'clock at night and 3 in the morning, that's when your body is burning fat. 
It's not while you're doing exercise. It's not after you're doing exercise. It's actually burning fat at nighttime. You stimulate your body, um, the hormones during exercise, but the full-on effect doesn't happen until nighttime. That's why it's important to get to bed and go to bed without all the stress and thinking about everything that's going on that you have to do the next day. So other issues that people have when they have, um, when they're the adrenal body type, there's facial hair, there's females that have that voice, a deeper voice in their age, and they get all puffy. That's an adrenal issue. So some of you are probably starting to recognize this. One of the ways you can tell is in the wintertime, you take your socks off from a long day. If you have all these little demarcations on there from your socks and ridges, that's an adrenal issue. And you have pain that just doesn't go away. You're craving salt, salty foods. And I said the thing that really kind of is like the trademark for the adrenal person is that they're, they're craving chocolate-covered pretzels. <laughs> you know, they want the chocolate and they want the salt. So, and they're usually de de deficient in potassium. They got allergies, autoimmune conditions. They get dizzy when they get up too quickly. I don't know if that's any of you. They have high blood pressure. They have problems absorbing calcium, and, that, and this is a person that becomes osteoporotic very quickly. And they also they're they're in pain all the time. It's like everything in their and it hurts. Their hair hurts, you know. So, um, and one of the trademarks is being out of breath when they climb the stairs. And this can also be an athlete, believe it or not, or a person that works out a lot. And they have to go up and down some flights of stairs, and they're breathing, and they're like, oh, my gosh, but I work out. Why am I feeling like this? It's like because you're the adrenal body type. You're overstressing your adrenals. You've become very good at becoming stressed. A lot of cholesterol issues. And this is a person that should not exercise at high levels because it will actually produce more cortisol, which create that vicious cycle of putting more weight on, and then they're getting more frustrated because I'm counting calories, I'm exercising, and I'm not losing weight. And it's like, well, it's time to do the opposite of what you're doing. So I know we're getting kind of short on time, so I'm going to zip through some of these, but so the next one is your liver body type. Well, who does, who's the liver body type? I said, well, picture this. Picture a man, and I live here in Orange County, and I would say picture a man in Huntington Beach or Newport Beach walking around in Speedos with a little metal detector looking for goods. He usually has the belly, and it's a hard belly, so if he sits down, he can put a beer on it. <laughs> That's the liver body type. It's not a loose belly. It's a hard belly, and so... They've got a lot of issues as well. They have, and, and that condition is actually called ascites, and it's just a lot of fluids in there. And they usually get like right shoulder pain because there's radiating pain that, that comes from the liver. They wake up in the morning and they have pain in their fingers. They belch a lot. They feel bloated. They have high blood pressure. They have fungus all the time, thin skin, and they get those little skin tags, acid reflux, constipation, frontal headaches, back of the head they have headaches as well and like I said they're irritable to wake up in the morning and lots of um, lots of skin conditions with a liver body type and fungus also on the feet and private parts and stiffness all over their body and I think a lot of women can kind of relate to the varicose veins that's also a liver issue so if you've thought about those topical creams and things little little secrets that are going to take it away it's an internal condition for an from something that you're seeing externally and that applies even to just having good skin you've got to take care of it from the inside this person is always craving fatty food they're allergic to gluten and they can't tolerate high fat um, and high protein diet and for those of you who don't know what gluten is I mean right now we're hearing so much about the paleo diet and you're seeing everything gluten-free, gluten-free sections. Basically, gluten is a protein from wheat, oats, rye, or barley, but there's a lot of misconceptions with all that because there are so many foods that cross-contaminate and, and mimic gluten, especially like oatmeal, although technically it's not considered a food that contains gluten, but there's a high cross-contamination rate along with soy and corn. Things that uh, affect the liver alcohol, Tylenol, caffeine, toxins, medication, um, excess hormones, um, any of your HRT creams, and the hydrogenated fats primarily is coming from all your prepackaged foods. So we're getting a lot of stuff out there. 
Is this what you're feeling like right now? It's like, oh, my gosh, you've told me all the bad stuff. Tell me something good. I'm like, all right, well, let's start with one thing today. Stop putting garbage in your body and mind. That's pretty simple. Whatever you're doing right now, and if it's not working, I think someone said the easiest thing to do is do the opposite. So I always say don't let negative people and, and toxic people rent space in your head, raise the rent and kick them out. We can do that for what we're putting in our body. What are some things that we can do? Well, we can start adding more raw, organic fruits and vegetables. And when, you go, when you're out shopping, look for the little nine label on the tags there, and it'll say organic. Most of the time you're going to see a number three, a number eight, or a number four. Those are all tell you that they've been conventionally farmed, so they have probably herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, and they are probably have been treated with water that has chemicals in them. Organic nuts and seeds, preferably uh, sprouted, or um, are better than roasted. Because when you get when you're eating them roasted, there is just a lot of mold and rancidity, and also peanuts are the number one that you're going to find mold. Um, so a lot of these will just heal; they're healing to your body. So you see that little tag there? You're going to look for the the number nine. Eight is man-made, um, and like I said, the, the number threes, as you also seen those um, nowadays. So look for the number nine. Eat some clean proteins. Basically, what does that mean? I'm not a vegetarian. I do eat animal products, but I make sure that they've been humanely raised and that they're clean. And they don't have antibiotics, and they don't have growth hormones, so that um, I know it's going to affect me. So I usually tell people, hey, we got to buy grass-fed, organic, free-range, hormone-free, your chicken, your beef, your turkey, bison, lamb. Those are the best ones. Um, eat fish that's wild-caught. Salmon is amazing, and it's great for inflammation because of the omega-3. Um, if you choose to eat some sort of um, grains, rice, quinoa, and millet, and there are some parameters that I can't get into as far as, you know, whether a person can or cannot have that something that I do with our private members here. Legumes, lentils, beans, um, black beans, pinto beans. Um, other stuff is just getting some steamed or baked veggies. So it could be like 50 and 50%. Kind of my favorite rule is if it's a single ingredient food, go for it. If you can't pronounce it, don't buy it. It's, it's pretty basic. <laughs> Drink lots of water. Your body's primarily made of water. It's how just, it, it has so many functions from beautiful skin, beautiful hair, lubrication of the joints, get detoxing your body, and um, just making sure that you're drinking half your body weight in ounces. Exercise. To me, that's just really common sense. It's you know, do at least um, you know one hour is only four percent of your day. There really, there's no excuses. And some of the things that we do with our members, I tell them, I only work out three days a week for about, and I'm in the gym maybe 20 minutes, and I can still keep a pretty lean body fat, um, and I just know how to do it because during those 20 minutes. I do what I need to do to stimulate my hormones to burn fat. So we teach people how to do that. Not only that, exercise just helps you improve your sleep, your muscle tone. And as we're getting older, I always say, hey, I want to get better. There's no excuse for my body to fall apart. Um, it relieves stress, improves your mood, and increases your libido. And who doesn't want that? Sleep, we talked about how it's your body's more active at night. It's kind of like Disneyland. Disneyland is beautiful throughout the day, but when it shuts down, there's a mess. So all these bright lights come on, a crew comes out and cleans house. That's what happens to your body at nighttime as well. So uh, keep that ba um, the fat burning by getting to bed by 10 o'clock. Not only that, that's when your body's getting rejuvenated, your immune system. That's why you can wake up feeling good and looking great and looking young. Liver and lung detoxification are occurring at that time also. Other things? It's your attitude. <laughs> I mean, that's something that we have total control over is our attitude. Other things, television. We get so engrossed with soap operas. I'm like, hey, I'm going to live my life. I'm not going to play play. I'm small and sit, or sit around and watch somebody else live their life. So get rid of the television, you know, unless you're watching it to, to – I'm using it to watch something productive. Um, a microwave, a lot of the EMFs have an effect on your hormones, the hydrogenated fats and artificial sweeteners, soy products. You'll find those in all probably 99% of the prepackaged food. Computer and video games and I think our own, our own self really 
setting our own limitations. How are we doing on time? We okay? Uh, how many more minutes do you think uh, you have? A couple more. Huh? Probably no more than five. Okay. So. So if you if you have within five minutes, that's great. I think okay. we're gonna we're quickly running out of time for okay. questions though. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, so I think we're gonna we... have to wrap it up after that. Okay. All right. So what about? But please give your email for anybody that has questions so they can contact okay. you. Okay. Absolutely. So what interferes with fat burning? A lot of these um, have be intentional about your exercise. Sugar, lack of sleep, stress, pain, and inflammation are huge. If your body's inflamed, you're not gonna be able to burn fat. And there's a lot of silent inflammation going on. So, you know, I always tell people, hey, you got to start doing something today. Just have a makeup, just make up your mind. What are you going to do? Because your thoughts do lead to your actions. And, you know, whatever you're thinking, you're going to speak it. They're going to become your actions and your character and your destiny. And that's who you are. And so, you know, we set our own limitations. Um, so what are some things we can do here? Figure out which one's your body type. What's offending your health? You know, heal your glands. Do the lifestyle changes I recommended. Exercise. Eat the cleaner food. Get your sleep, you know, water, and your attitude. Too much to go through. So finding out first, the first thing you need to find out, is your body healthy? All the other symptoms we're talking, those are just secondary. If you are having symptoms of any kind right now, that's just your body telling you that it's not healthy and something needs to be checked out. So the goal is always get healthy and then lose weight. And for most of all, I think that um, if we don't do that, then we're just going to be where we are. Um, continue to be and stay in the same place. Hidden barriers, uh, like I said, we talked about wrong information, poor digestion. Most people start and they don't succeed. They all start with good intentions. There isn't a one-size-fits-all. Just because you read it on Dr. Oz's magazine or you read it somewhere, it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. So you basically you don't know what you don't know. So waiting for, for, for the perfect time to start, this is the perfect time right now. So with that being said, I do want to give you an opportunity to um, – to get started with us and basically you know you have about an hour hour and a half of my time to find out what's the culprit we have people probably have about an hour and a half worth of homework before they consult with us whether it's in person or on the phone and if you're in, in the office we do a lot of other testing we have a lot of people that we consult with on the phone and then we're going to give you a recommendation and let you know what is your body type what's your possibly your body's pH, what can you do, what's going to work for you, because certain blood tests and saliva tests also will help narrow down what's going to work for you. So we're offering this, and it's only I only have like seven openings because I'm really busy for the next few months I'm booked, um, and it's $97 for any of the women that are on the call. Um, just email us at info at drlindamarquez.com, um, and it's just D-R-L-I-N-D-A-M-A-R-Q-U-E-Z.com, and just put over 40 females promo, and we're going to have that um, valid for at least um, seven days. So if, once it fills up, it fills up. So that will be $97, and I hope that we have the opportunity to change your health so we can transform your life. Hello, Dr. Marquez? Yes. Hi. You know, I have a question. Um, I was wondering, you know, when you start a program such as yours, mm -hmm. what typically do you start with um, with a client? Do you start with their fitness? Do you start with nutrition? Or what's usually the first thing that you, you know, start to pick apart and, and redo? The first thing is I look at their lifestyle. I look at what are they eating because it's 90%, it's really 90% what are they eating and the other 10% is exercise. Because you can go out and exercise, but if you're going and eating the wrong foods, what you just did, you're nullifying all the effects. So it's really what is their lifestyle like, which, yeah, it's looking at what are you eating, what is your day like. So we, hmm. we zero in pretty quickly. I usually know before I even meet a person by looking at all their notes, I'm like, okay, I know how to handle this. <laughs> I've been doing this so long that I already pretty much know how to handle it by the time I meet with them in person or over the phone. 
Yeah, it sounds like it. It sounds like there are so many different aspects to your health, you know, not just nutrition, not just fitness, you know, not just the certain categories sometimes that we concentrate on that um, when you put them all together and, and you can do that and, you know, get them to maintain a whole entire healthy schedule, then that sounds like the best regimen someone can do. Absolutely, yes. Well, is. good. Well, thank you so much. I learned so much on this call tonight. It was amazing, really. You made me think about a, a few different uh, targets <laughs> that I need to, you know, reevaluate maybe in my life. So that's absolutely wonderful. Thank you for all your knowledge on this subject. We appreciate you coming on the call this evening. Well, thank you so much for having me on the call. Our pleasure. Okay, so now we have our member introductions. These are the members that we selected to highlight on this call. And the um, the profile that you see right now in front of you is uh, what you get when you join us on the website as a member. So our first member introduction is Jeannie Morris from New Orleans. And Jeannie is the owner of a law office of Jeannie Morris LLC. Um, I've been an attorney for over 30 years. I have a wide variety of experiences in many areas of the law, including but not limited to business and corporate law, estate planning, wills, trusts, real estate, title examinations, successions, mergers, and acquisitions. Wow, she does it all. <laughs> so one of the points of us um, you know, highlighting our members is that if you need any of these services that you see on here, please contact uh, these members because we all want to support each other and this is really what over 40 females is all about is us supporting each other and you know uh, using each other's services and supporting each other so um, we have our next member profile is Jeannie Martinez now Jeannie Miami our Miami chapter just opened up and Jeannie is our first member of our Miami chapter so um, we're very excited about opening down in Miami and she's an occupational therapist uh, by trade for 13 years. She loves helping people and working on a team. Um, okay, and that was Jeannie Martinez. Uh, Jennifer Martinez, I'm sorry, I, I lost the, uh, <laughs> the slide there. Okay, she's an executive uh, consultant for Rodan Fields. Okay, great. Excellent. So our next member is? is Bobby Palmer. Now, Bobby's on our speakers board, and I happen to know that she is a dating and relationship expert. I met her when we launched out in L.A., um, or Orange County. I'm sorry, she's a member of our Orange County chapter. And uh, she is 54 years old, joyfully married, and proudly imperfect. Love that. So if you need any dating advice or, or relationship, um, I think that you should probably go to Bobby <laughs> because she is just amazing. I've had a lot of actually long talks with her. She's wonderful. Uh, DateLikeAGrownUp.com, that's her website. Mary Beth and our next member introduction is Mary Beth Chiaramella. And her slide is coming up on my website. Here we go. Mary Beth Chiaramella is a, she's a member of our Putnam County chapter and Westchester chapter. She's the owner of Your Bottom Line Accounting Services. Um, Mary Beth has been a member for almost since the beginning when we started for over two years. So we're very proud to still have her as part of our family. And if you need accounting services, I'm sure that some of these can be done remotely, um, such as bookkeeping and things like that. So please you know, support her if you need anything in that area. And then Vivian Kaneff is a Fairfield County chapter member. And I see her often at our New York City events, Vivian. Um, she is a nutritional educator. She um, is a representative for Juice Plus. And Juice Plus are these awesome chewy vitamins um, that your kids can eat and you can eat. Um, and they come in every flavor from all the veggies and the fruits that you need to get um, as part of your nutrition, speaking of hormones and nutrition and everything else. So please contact Vivian if you're thinking about uh, getting some Juice Plus. And next we have our, our sponsor's introduction. Um, we do have these, we have incredible people supporting us, um, and our sponsors, you know, are part of that crowd, and we are so thankful for, to them over the past couple of years. Um, we have our national travel sponsor, which is Cappy Devlin. She's from Cappy's Travel, and, you know, this is another company that if you are needing travel, you know, she, Cappy lives in Westchester, New York, but you don't have to live there to use her services. So we all want to support our members and our sponsors. And um, Kim, Dr. Kim Nichols, Nichols, MD of Greenwich. Now, um, Kim, Dr. Nichols is just as beautiful <laughs> as you would ever want to be. Um, and she is a cosmetic 
dermatological surgeon, and uh, she is based in Greenwich, Connecticut. And we also have um, our other sponsors. Ella Health is a new sponsor of ours that just came on. Um, they are an incredible wellness center that's opening up across the country, um, and we are so grateful for their support uh, this year. They're a brand-new business member. And we also have uh, Susie Said. Susie Says. Susie Said, I'm sorry, SusieSaid.com, um, wonderful informational site that posts events and all kinds of information. Um, if you go on SusieSaid.com, they also support over 40 females. And we're going to wrap it up um, in another few minutes. We have, um, let's see, we have, uh, oh, the special deal, the special deal. Okay, so what we're doing for, for tonight only, um, or if you're listening to this call, we are... Let's see, for $95, okay, we have an online membership. Um, we, we have our chapter membership at the live events that you can join if you want to go out to any of our chapters across the country. Um, but we also have an online membership, and you get all the benefits from being a member as far as an online profile, private social media, connecting with all of these like-minded women who are really, we're all in the same boat. Okay, and we as Over 40 Females try to support you as much as we can uh, by promoting you and, you know, trying to get you press and trying to uh, get the best resources we can for your business, for your spiritual growth, for your physical, just everything that you need. We feel like women over 40 have really unique um, issues that we try to tailor to. So if you want to become a member and support us and keep this revolutionary movement going um, and expanding and growing and, and becoming global eventually, um, we are offering you a special discount tonight for $95 for the entire year um, to join us online. So we have the link up there. Um, it is over40females.com forward slash online year discount. Now, this is usually $120 a year, okay? So for $95, it's basically $0.26 cents a month or something like that. It's ridiculous. Um, and if you sign up on this call, if you use this link, um, I am going to have a free 30-minute workshop that's about how to be on TV. So I always get questions about, you know, how do I get on TV? How do I pitch a producer? What do I do if I get a TV segment? Well, you can learn it all um, within this 30-minute crash course that I am offering for free if you join us from this link. And finally, next month's event, before we announce the raffles, we are very honored to have Dr. Chris Sargent, who is going to talk about the S word. Yes, I said S, as in stress. Ah, how it can affect you and what you can do about it. Um, I sure need to get on this call, and I think um, a lot of other people do also with everything that, you know, women are balancing today. So it is going to be Thursday, May 22nd, again, at the same time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And please go to the website right now to save your spot because we are starting to sell out on these teleseminars very quickly. So go save your spot and register, and we will see you online May 22nd. Now, our raffle winners, we have... For our Rita Cosby, our book, Quiet Hero, the winner is Ms. Patrick. I think it's Dean Patrick, but she might <laughs> – we see online Dean Patrick, but I'm thinking it's probably Ms. Patrick. Um, if you uh, would please email info at over40females.com, so O-V-E-R 40females.com. Please email us your address, and we will send you a copy of Quiet Hero by Rita Cosby. And the winner of our $80 beauty duo um, is Andrea, oh my gosh, I don't know how to say this last name, Andrea Scaccianose. <laughs> Scaccianose. <laughs> so she is, um, I bet everybody gets her name wrong. Andrea, you are the winner of the $80 beauty duo. So please email us at info at over40females.com and give us your address and we will mail that right out to you. So thank you for joining us for Hormonal Health and You. We had a great time this evening, learned a lot of things that I'm sure we're going to be looking into, that's for sure. Um, and please contact us if you have any questions about Over 40 Females or for, inform for more information, of course, you can go to, onto our website, over40females.com. And thank you for your support and good night.